Welcome to F1 Motor Fever Podcast, folks. Brace yourselves as we steer our conversation towards Felipe Drugovich, Aston Martin's reserve driver, and his unique relationship with the one and only Ayrton Senna. Ah, a unique connection indeed. Born years after Senna's reign, yet his influence on Drugovich is profound, almost like a posthumous mentor. Spot on, William. Drugovich, a Brazilian native, hails from a family entrenched in motorsport love. A love that was fueled even more when Senna raced his way into the hearts of Brazilians. And it's interesting to note, despite not being able to watch Senna race in real time, Drugovic has learned and absorbed so much about him, through tales, documentaries, and conversations. Yes, even Martin Whitmarsh, the former McLaren boss, has shared some remarkable Senna stories with him. Talk about stoking the passion. A tribute to Senna's stature in Brazil, akin to Verstappen's in the Netherlands, but arguably even more profound. Senna was more than a driver in Brazil. He was a hero. A hero indeed, William. Known not just for his unique personality and focused approach to racing, but also his genuine respect for his fans. A real people's champion. If given an opportunity, Drugovic would love to pick Senna's brains about his driving experiences and technical aspects of racing during his era. A student of the sport, eager to learn from the best. And that very desire to learn and emulate Senna has set Drugovic's ultimate goal, to follow in Senna's tracks and make it onto the F1 grid. A lofty ambition, no doubt. But it's the weight of representing Brazil in the sport and the hopes of his fellow countrymen that truly fuels his drive, a legacy that Senna has left behind. A legacy indeed, but not just a legacy, it's the essence of Senna's spirit. A spirit that is iconic, memorable, and timeless, much like the man himself. A spirit that Drugovich hopes to carry forward in his own journey. And if he does, it would indeed mark another riveting chapter in Brazil's rich motorsport narrative. Couldn't have said it better myself, William. A narrative that's about passion, ambition, and the relentless pursuit of excellence, just as Senna exemplified. A testament to the indomitable spirit of Ayrton Senna, echoing beyond the confines of time, resonating even with the generations yet to come. Hey there, race fans. I'm George, your host for today's special episode of F1 Motor Fever Podcast. You're used to hearing Enzo's voice, but on Thursday mornings, we like to switch gears and take a historic turn. That's right, George. These Thursday specials delve into the epic tales and timeless legends of the track. It's always a thrilling ride down memory lane. Couldn't agree more, William Turner. And folks, let me remind you, we're always here on the F1 Motor Fever Podcast channel, serving up your daily fix of Formula One chatter. And if you're enjoying our pit stop chats, do subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future episodes. Absolutely, William, because every click, comment, and share goes a long way in helping us keep this channel running. So tell your friends, tell your family, heck, even tell your rivals. Hey, hey, well said, George. And folks, if you're curious about today's topic, the legendary Ayrton Senna and his profound impact on Felipe Drugovich, trust me, you're in for a treat. Indeed, William. These stories are not just about racing. They touch on passion, perseverance, and the spectacle of human spirit, elements that make the sport what it is. And who knows, you might just find some inspiration or perhaps a newfound respect for the sport and its stalwarts. Want more details on the subject? Stick with us and put your seatbelts on because we're going full throttle. Haha, <laughs> full throttle indeed, George. Let's dive into this fascinating narrative. So let's step into the life of Felipe Drugovic. Born and raised in Brazil, he spent the first 13 years of his life there. His passion for motorsport was fueled by his family's profound love for anything engine-related. I see. So the love of motorsport was kind of a family affair. Exactly. Now imagine being eight years old and getting thrown behind the wheel of a go-kart for the first time. That's where it all began for Drugovic. Well, that must have been quite a thrilling experience, to say the least. Indeed. But that thrill kind of triggered something, and from there on, there was no looking back. Hold on a second. I didn't really follow. Could you explain it differently? Certainly. So, picture this. You're an eight-year-old, experiencing the thrill of driving a go-kart for the first time. That one experience sparks a passion in you, and that passion ends up shaping your entire life. That's essentially Drugovic's journey in a nutshell. Moving on, let's try to understand why Brazil has such a fervent love for motorsport. Post-Senna era, the country's passion for the sport exploded. Thanks in part to Brazil's overall passion, 
and Senna's distinct yellow helmet with green and blue stripes becoming a symbol that's recognizable even outside of motorsport. Really? So Senna's influence was so significant that it ignited a widespread interest in the sport? Indeed. And it wasn't just the nation. Drugovich's family, too, were massive fans. They even have a collection of Senna memorabilia. You know what they say, the family that loves motorsport together stays together. Haha, <laughs> a fitting adage, I must say. So, despite not witnessing Senna's driving in real time, Drugovich still felt his influence? Absolutely. Through numerous documentaries and stories, Drugovich learned from Senna's experiences. Furthermore, there are people in teams today who have worked with Senna. Their first-hand accounts further enriched Drugovich's understanding of the racing legend. That must be fascinating, hearing about Senna from those who've actually worked with him. It sure is. One such person is Martin Whitmarsh, who's now with Aston Martin. In his early days in Formula One, Whitmarsh worked with Prost and Senna. He has shared some intriguing stories about the duo with Drugovich. I can imagine those tales must have been quite the insights. Senna's legacy is truly enormous, shaping and influencing new generations of racers, just as Felipe Drugovich. Couldn't agree more. It's not just about the races. It's about the impact, the influence, and the inspiration that someone like Senna can have on future generations. So our friend Drugovic took it upon himself to watch as many of Senna's highlights as possible, all in an attempt to absorb as much as he could. Well, it sounds like a great way to learn from a master. Certainly. But you know what's interesting? Drugovic compares Senna's importance to Brazil to Max Verstappen's significance in the Netherlands. Oh, really? That's quite a comparison. Indeed. But he suggests Senna's influence was even more profound. Apparently, for the older generation, Senna was one of the nation's only heroes, alongside football legend Pele. That's quite a stature to achieve in a country with such a rich sporting legacy. Absolutely. And according to Drugovich, what set Senna apart was his unique personality and sheer focus on the track. He was just different, you know? Yes, his intense focus and dedication were legendary, not to mention his rapport with the fans. Spot on. And that's what earned him respect. Now here's something that made me sit up. If Drugovich had the chance, he would quiz Senna about his experiences and what it was like to drive those cars back then. Ah, uh, a question we'd all love to ask, I'm sure. It's amazing how Senna's influence continues to shape aspiring racers like Drugovich. You know, Drugovich is really aiming to follow in the footsteps of his childhood hero, Senna, his ultimate goal is to make it onto the grid and represent Brazil in F1. That's quite the aspiration. And knowing the passion of Brazilian motorsport fans, I'm sure he feels a great sense of responsibility. Absolutely. Drugovic sees it as a good weight on his shoulders, a kind of positive pressure. He knows that Brazilian fans are missing having one of their own on the F1 grid, and he's hopeful of filling that gap. It's indeed a big role to play. I'm sure the fans are eager to see him rise to the challenge. Yes, and it would be fantastic to see a new Brazilian making waves in the world of Formula One, wouldn't it? It certainly would. A new chapter in Brazilian motorsport history, perhaps. Yes, here's to hoping we'll see Drugovic representing Brazil on the F1 grid soon. And that's a wrap for today's episode of F1 Motor Fever Podcast, folks. We've explored the enduring influence of Ayrton Senna and his impact on young talents like Felipe Drugovic. It's been an absolute blast, and I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have. If you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to stay in the loop with all our latest episodes. Your support is what drives us forward. And don't be shy. We want to hear from you. What did you think? Have you got any Senna stories of your own? Drop a comment and join the conversation. Spread the word about our podcast, whether you're catching up with your mates at the pub or in your online motorsport groups. We'd like to give a special shout out to our good friend Enzo. We're sure you'll love this episode, mate. And to all our listeners, thank you for joining us on this journey. We couldn't do it without you. Oh, and keep your ears pricked, folks. We've got some exciting stuff lined up for you. So stay tuned and make sure you don't miss out. Indeed. Thanks again for tuning in. We look forward to seeing you in the next episode of F1 Motor Fever Podcast. Until then, pedal to the metal. Keep your gaze on the road. Our channel's content is pure gold.